If you look closely at the balcony, you can see the shape of a little child. This took place in England and the property dates back to the 19th century. The creepy part is the mother asked officials about the figure and they said only security was in the building at the time. And I don't think they have four foot nine oh. security oh. guarding the place. The next clip is from- yeah, That looked like a Harriet Tubman picture. Y'all know that picture of Harriet Tubman where she's sitting like this? Y'all know what I'm talking about? That looked like, that looked like, nah, Harriet Tubman. That looked like the Harriet Tubman picture. Tell me I'm lying, chat. Am I, ch tell me I'm lying, chat. <laughs>
The Charlie tattoo that I was planning on getting, I got it like a week after I went to Florida. It's right here. I'll put an HD image on the screen. Got a little penguin on oh. the iceberg, tip of the iceberg. Shout out my boy w Charlie. But yeah, in October, I want to make more uh, scary videos, I guess. More scary. I guess okay. all my content is morbid, but uh, I want to focus a little bit just on scary stuff. So oh, let me try something. I'm going to try something different. Can you guys just watch the video all the way through? Like, give me that watch time. Like, we'll, we'll destroy the algorithm if you guys just give me watch time because that's how it works. If you guys watch it all the way through, just do it. Just do it. Just, like, what if I just tell you guys to watch the video all the way through but yeah like i said in the intro today we're going to be talking about disturbing security camera footage and if you guys don't already make sure to get yourself some fuck candy corn i literally almost subscribed gang i almost subscribed i almost subscribed are is this nigga serious and is he dead ass get that shit out my face tough what's wrong corn. with you Woohoo! candy corn and it's you started it? with the video I'm disappearance of Lars Mittank on the 8th of July. I, yo, I ain't gonna lie. I almost fought. I, I, hey, I'm about to, I'm about to DM him. He probably don't even follow me for real. I'm be like, yo, I react to your shit. We about to, we, we about to run the fade. Cause ain't no way you just ate that candy corn. By 2014 at Varna Airport in Bulgaria, German man Lars Matank was on vacation with four friends at a resort called Golden Sands. This resort was popular among visitors as it resided by the coast of the Black Sea, and it was a fairly cheap stay. Specifically, Lars and his friends were staying at Hotel Viva Club within the resort. Everything was Damn, going great, and they nice. spent their time hanging out on the beach, drinking, and other things of that nature. Though things took a turn about a week later when Lars got into a fight at a 24-hour McDonald's. Lars, a fan of the football club, Werder Bremen, had differences with fans of Bayern Munich. He then parted from his friends outside a restaurant after leaving the bar and disappeared for the rest of the night. Lars turned up at the resort the following morning and told his friends he was beaten by four men hired by the group in the bar who he had a disagreement with the night before. The fight resulted in Lars having an injured jaw and ruptured eardrum. He went and Damn. saw a doctor who advised him to not fly due to his injury because the high altitude pressure could make things worse. So he prescribed the antibiotic Cefprozil. Lars's friends wanted to stay with him but he insisted he was fine on his own and he told them they could go back home without him. Him. He'll just stay to recover. So they did. They left without him. Lars checked out of the resort the same time as his friends and checked into the hotel Color Varna for one night. The hotel was cheap and close to the airport. However, a day after his friends left, he began to act paranoid. While at the hotel, Lars called his mother, and in a whisper, he told her that people were trying to kill him or rob him, and that she should cancel his credit cards. The security cameras in the hotel recorded him pacing up and down the halls, looking out windows, and hiding in an elevator. At one in the morning, he left the hotel before returning about an hour later. It's not known what he did in this period of time. In the morning, he once again called his mother, telling her that the people pursuing him were getting closer. Lars was last seen at Varna Airport on July 8th, 2014, the day he was planning on going back to Germany. He texted his mother that he had arrived at the airport. He went to consult with the airport doctor, Dr. Kosta Kostov, and Kostov would later describe his behavior as nervous and erratic. According to Kostov, he told Lars that he was fine and he could return home. However, Lars didn't leave his office, expressing doubt about the medication that he was taking. At that time, a construction worker entered the office. The airport was undergoing renovation at the time, so it was pretty normal for a construction worker to come into an office and ask, hey, what else do you need me to do? You know, stuff like that. Kostov said that Lars then began to tremble. He yelled, I don't want to die here. I have to get out of here. He then got up and fled the office. He left all of his luggage, which included his wallet, cell phone, and passport. He was captured by airport security cameras fleeing the terminal. Once outside, he can be seen on the footage jogging away from the airport, climbing a fence, running into a meadow, and sprinting off camera. This was the last time Lars Matank was ever seen. What the fuck? Yo, nah, he's gone. A lot of people think that he just got brain damage from the fight and that he just went insane after that. The running into nothingness, it's so scary. That's crazy. It's so, and then never being seen again, bro. Truly horrifying. Imagine the last place you're seen is through a 180p security camera. Jesus. Oh, like, that sucks. Not? That sucks so much. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Let's move on to the next one. Jesus. Damn, man. Talking about like disturbing security camera footage really makes me on. Um, it makes me want to write. But thank <laughs> Jesus Christ this is such a bad. Ain't no way. Ain't no way you just did that. I fucking yeah. You guys gonna have to deal with it. Fuck you. But thankfully, we have the Earl Notebook. Hey. Hey, that's kind of gas though. Look, <laughs> we sell notebooks at EarlDoesn'tExist.com. That's not com because. Hey, he got some W merch. I might cop some. Not gonna lie. But I do have spooky dookie Halloween merch you can go cop. Matter of fact, Simba, put the ad here. Hey, real quick. 
hate to interrupt your video but i got some news you see the ambiance here that means it's freaking october man I, I meant to do this on the first but i'm sorry real quick real quick we got halloween merch man and i need you i need you i need you to check it out because it's only here for october okay there is a sticker there's a t-shirt and there is a hoodie i had I, I had a drawer go all out for me you know what I'm saying with the classic nasty over the top little luna right there and the ice cream you know saying got the jason mask and me right there there's stickers there's t-shirts and there is hoodies man and make sure you go grab you one it's only here for october listen listen all my merch drops are never coming back they're never coming back okay so this is a once in a lifetime opportunity never again will you be able to get it only october the rest of this merch is gone on the 9th so make sure you pick it up before it's too late make sure you guys are go getting your merch and uh link is in the description yeah enjoy the rest of your video man peace halloween merch you know because sometimes youtube my boss gives me limited ads which means demonetization but yeah uh let's actually you know what I'm saying? Y'all know that little ad cut I be, you know what I'm saying? Merch ad, you know what I'm saying? Move on to the next one now. Jameson family disappearance. On October 8th, Where's 2000. Where's the thang Thanksgiving merch? Y'all want Thanksgiving merch? I can make Christmas merch though. I don't know about Thanksgiving. Like, I feel like Thanksgiving is nine in eufaula oklahoma a family of three went missing until this day no one knows what led up to their mysterious deaths bobby dale jameson his wife Sherilyn, and their six-year-old daughter madison seemed to live pretty normal lives until family members noticed they were gone a police search began and their truck was found in latimer county which is an hour away from their home in the past few months the family had been looking for 40 acres of land to buy where they planned to live in their storage shed but the items found in their truck indicate that they they weren't planning on disappearing forever inside in Investigators found their IDs, wallets, phones, Sherilyn's purse, and even the family dog, which was alive but extremely malnourished. Dude, Jesus. this thing is choking me. Y'all, leave a like. Leave a like, because I'm getting choked, bro. Leave a like, subscribe, viral. Y'all know what to do. They also found $32,000 in cash, and police still don't know where they got that money from. Some investigators suspect that it could have been due to selling or buying drugs. But also, why would you take your daughter to a drug deal? Doesn't really make that much sense. Not only that, but in a cell phone in the car, they found this creepy photo of the daughter in the woods the day the family disappeared. It was impossible to tell from the condition of the truck if they had left voluntarily or had been forced out of the car by someone else a but if you force somebody out the car right if you're forcing somebody out the car would you not also take the money i would have took hey listen if i'm getting somebody out the car and you know what i'm saying about the i'm about to i'm gonna be up 32 band why not take the money you know what i'm saying I don't know. That's kind of weird. Party was formed and investigators combed through miles of woods and surrounding area looking for any trace of the Jameson family, but nothing was found. On November 16th, 2013, four years later, just three miles away from where the truck was parked, hunters stumbled upon the partial remains of two adult skeletons and one child skeleton. Forensic testing proved that they were it, it was the jameson family but due to how decomposed wow. the bodies were they couldn't find a cause of death so the police decided to open the case back up again and check through the family security footage what they found was extremely odd in the video the couple is seen going back and forth between the house and the truck packing up their things and in the video they didn't interact once and they seemed to be bringing and taking the same stuff from the house prior to their disappearance bobby dale had gone to his pastor and claimed that his home was haunted saying that he had two to four ghosts on the roof Sherilyn had also purchased a satanic bible allegedly what as a joke fuck? however bobby dale confessed to his pastor that he had read it leading some people to believe that witchcraft may have been a factor in their deaths Sherilyn's mother believed that the jamesons had somehow gotten involved with a cult and were murdered by violent members but she wow. never named the cult and there's no evidence supporting that theory that's weird damn oh, that's easy crazy. home break-in on january 10th 2019 in birmingham which is in the united kingdom a thief was caught on an inner home security camera first he triggers the patio light which he doesn't care about and then shines his flashlight inside the home to see what he can take he then proceeds to pick the lock on the sliding glass door and eventually is successful he slides the door and listens in for a while before leaving the scene in a hurry But seconds later, he returns and this time he actually enters the home and begins getting a better look at the place. What? Hey, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like this eerie music. I'm kind of a, hey, what the fuck is he going to find? I feel like he going to find some shit. 
Then the house alarm goes off and he makes a run for it for good this time. Keep in mind, the homeowners were in the house the whole time. They were upstairs and they were fucking horrified seeing how deep someone got into their house. One of the homeowners explained on Facebook. So last night at around 1230 AM, we got broken into by oh, this scumbag. Luckily, he fled by our house alarm, but still managed to break our patio lock completely and get into the living room. Absolutely mind boggled that someone was in my house while I was asleep. Yeah, we noticed a car come down the road and pass our house twice just a few minutes before this man ran up our drive. The car looks like a black BMW 1 series. CCTV TV also shows he has a funny limp with his walk. Someone must recognize this. Honestly gutted. Hopefully the scumbag will be caught as he was a pro at what he was doing. It really is scary how quiet the thief was and how deep he got into the house. And look Hey, listen. Get you some security cameras. I gotta get me a couple more, but I got some. Make sure y'all get yourself some security cameras. Luckily for them, they had a camera inside the home, which I don't really see most homes do. It's usually businesses that have in inner security cameras the person was never caught in case you're wondering i mean they're wearing a mask you can't really do anything about that one but yeah i thought this was a scary one to add to the list let's continue a gun oh Ghosts. Okay, so first let's start with they gotta live in Florida. these orbs that are That's caught on security camera footage. A lot of people think these are what ghosts or fuck? souls and this is how they appear on video. Just bright balls of light that the human eye can't see. Some people like Why to see it as their line? loved ones visiting them, but we'll never really know. Though it is interesting how many orbs are caught on camera. Moving on <laughs> to more creepy stuff are actual like ghosts caught on film. Now there are many of these cases. I think most of them are fake. I'm not gonna lie. But I'll show you some that... I think I think could be real. Yes, I believe in ghosts. I don't see why someone wouldn't. But uh, most people just try to fake it to get clout, you know? So I got some genuine ones for you guys. Here we have a video taken by a mother of a little boy on his bicycle. And if you look closely at the balcony, you can see the shape of a little child. This took place in England and the property dates back to the 19th century. The creepy part is the mother asked officials about the figure and they said only security was in the building at the time. And I don't think they have four foot nine securities fuck? guarding the place. The next clip is from- two got, That looked like a Harriet Tubman picture. Y'all you, know that picture of Harriet Tubman where she's sitting like this? Y'all know what I'm talking about? That look like, that look like, nah, Harriet Tubman. Nigga, that look like the Harriet Tubman picture. Tell me I'm lying, chat. Am I, ch tell me I'm lying, chat. Look up there, look right there, and then look right here. Am I fucking lying? <laughs> I'm not fucking lying, bro. That look like the Harriet Tubman picture. Just reversed, exactly. Security was in the building at the time, and I don't think they have four foot nine securities guarding the place. The next clip is from 2019, and I'll just read how the video starts off. The following clip was filmed while my mom and I were on vacation. We decided to leave our cats home alone for the few nights we would be gone. We scheduled a house sitter to come by and check up on them every other morning. When we arrived back home, we noticed a strange change in their behavior, so we decided to review the footage. This is what we found. One of the cats already seemed startled by what the time the video Hey, nah, hold on. Nah, this nigga really looking directly at the camera. Starts, and if you look at the right side of the video, we can see a shadow walk past the hallway. Oh, hell no. Nah. The cat like, what the fuck is that? Then we see this table shake and the door open. The video ends with this title card. Oh, this happened nah. December 18th, 2019. We decided to wait before releasing the footage publicly. Please oh, share this nah. video. We are still looking for answers. Okay, while I was writing oh, the script nah. down, I realized this one kind of seems fake too. Sorry for saying these could be real. But I mean, why beg people to fucking share the video? What the fuck are they gonna do? Get Bill Nye the science guy to fucking... <laughs> oh, it's scientifically proven. Like, no. Like, you have ghosts in your house. You don't need this to get... Like I said, what the fuck you gonna do? Get Bill Nye? Nah, get Bill Nye is crazy. Get Bill Nye is insane. A million views. That's all, that's how I think about it. Let me know what you think about it. Okay, but this next one I think is 100% real. Like actually 100% real. This footage literally gives me chills. Apparently, this family in 2019 thought their house was haunted and they had been experiencing paranormal things. Like for example, the mother said she felt someone's hands on her neck while sleeping. The footage shows a figure walking by the baby's crib and the, the baby fuck? ended up with a scratch on her face the morning after. Nah, what is that? That motherfucker moving too. Also, the baby's grandpa explained that he had heard a story about the previous homeowner committing by jumping out the window. The story oh that God. I was told was the gentleman that lived here originally. On a At this point, you can have the house. On God, Reaper. On God, thank you for the 100 bits. On God, take this motherfucker. You put, you put your hands on my kid? Yeah, you're done. Um, 
<laughs> I'm going. Commit you you got to worry about me no more, gang. Okay? Apparently. By jumping out this window. But then they showed the house and... Uh, I How you did that? Is this the only window, right? That's not... Nigga said brittle bones? Stop. I think you could break your bones, but not die from this. Also, fucking scary place to own a house? Literally right. in the middle of the fucking woods. The house from Courage the Cowardly <laughs> Dog seems safer than this. Woman in handcuffs. On August 24th, 2018 in Montgomery, Texas, security camera footage caught a woman in handcuffs ringing a homeless doorbell oh, and then walking this. away. It was about 3.20 a.m. and the frightened home resident called police saying that there was a woman wearing what looked like restraints with no shoes and that she was ringing their doorbell late in the evening. The footage went viral, making national news. At first, no one was I able see, to I identify the woman as police searches intensified. Local officials were worried that something may have happened to the woman as she appeared to be in distress in the footage. Five days later, on August 29th, the woman was identified as 32-year-old local resident whose name was kept private for safety reasons due to suspected domestic violence. She told police she had been sexually and that the broken restraints on her wrists were bondage cuffs. A lot of details, but I was scared at the wow. time, and that's what that's caused crazy. me to ring the neighbor's doorbell. I believe in my heart that is not who he truly is, so I don't want... It hurts me to see him bashed online when she was found her boyfriend was also found with a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head she explained that not only did she try ringing doorbells but she also tried waving cars down but no one stopped she wouldn't disclose details about what caused her to flee from the home but she told local news that she forgives him i woke up and Damn. he was kneeling on my chest and stuffing some sort of cloths in my mouth um, duct taping it. my entire head. Felt like when that was happening, like I was going to die there that night. Missy That's Beavers crazy. Killer. Terry Missy Beavers was born on August 9th, 1970 in Graham, Texas. Married to hey. Brandon Beavers in 1998, Missy was a mother to three daughters and the family resided in Red Oak. Missy Beavers worked as a fitness instructor, holding Camp Gladiator boot camps at Midlothian's Creekside Church of Christ, only 20 minutes away from her residence. On April 18th, 2016, the body of Missy Beavers was found at that same church. Beavers' murder garnered a lot of media attention after Midlothian police published surveillance videos from inside the church. Captured around the time period before Beaver's murder, the video shows an unknown person in police tactical gear walking around. They would also break glass and break into doors. Police believe the person in the video is Beaver's murderer. What the fuck? Ah, you was eating it? You ate some. Get out of here. Thank you. What the? Few developments have been made since the initial Lisa? case, but... It's not solved yet, and I don't know if it ever will be. Before dawn on April 18th, 2016, there was a heavy thunderstorm. The night before her murder, Beavers informed her students that the fitness class would be held inside, as opposed to the typical site at the parking lot. Beavers was last seen on surveillance tapes arriving at 4.18 in the morning. Shortly after 5 in the morning, a student entered the class, stumbling upon Beavers' body. She was pronounced wow. dead not long after the police arrived, and she was found with several puncture wounds to the head and chest. A police warrant alleged that these wounds were consistent with tools the suspect was carrying throughout the building. Although police did not confirm whether it was a weapon of murder, the hammer was found alongside other tools near her body. At first, the investigators were sure the suspect was a man. However, as time went by, more and more people had began to suspect that it's actually a woman under that costume. Investigators shared another potential clue. The suspect appeared to be walking slowly, sometimes steadying themselves with the wall and having trouble moving their right foot or leg. In 2021, a forensic podiatrist contested both claims, alleging that the wall was affected by the way of the gear and the weapons and there's no relationship between the walk and the gender initially a reward was set at ten thousand dollars before Damn. doubling to twenty thousand and then rising to fifty thousand dollars and ever since 2021 the price stayed at one hundred fifty thousand dollars simply for information about this person wow rest in peace Disappearance of Meta Valentine. Mother, Bruh. Meta Valentine, was reported missing. What's crazy is like, there's a lot of cases like this that just don't get solved. You know how scary it is to think that you might, you really might be chilling next to a whole ass murderer that never got convicted. Like that shit is crazy. There's a lot of murderers, a lot of murders and in, 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 in shit that happened that has not been solved. There's probably people in your town that committed some fucking heinous crimes that just were never caught.
It's crazy. I'm gonna watch some happy shit, BRB. We about to watch memes after this. We about to get some happy shit going. In 2014, after she failed to show up for Bible study, the last footage of her was this surveillance video taken from outside of her apartments. Why she stop? Why she backing up? She seen something. So somebody was chasing her. Oh wow! The man that chased her down in the video was later identified as Reginald McDowell, her ex-boyfriend. Meta and McDowell first met in high school, but their relationship was extremely complicated. By 1999, Meta ended up dating someone new, a man named Kenneth D. Thompson. And that same year, Meta and Kenneth were reportedly bound, gagged, pistol whipped, and placed into the trunk of a vehicle by the ex, Reginald. He was later charged with two counts of first-degree kidnapping and one count each of first-degree burglary and shooting into an occupied vehicle. In 2001, Reginald was sentenced to 15 years in prison, but was released in 2011. Once he was free, him and Meta got back together. In 2014, Meta ended Shorty. up just breaking up with him. And 11 days after doing so, she went missing. Meta's body was never found, and Reginald was never caught, but he suspected it be somewhere in New York. Ugh, that's so sad. Imagine the Bro, last- why would you want this nigga? Like, why would you get back with this nigga? That is crazy. You got back with him, and when you broke- You, like, you wasn't surprised he did that, like- he, You didn't think he was gonna do the same shit? Come on, bro. We gotta- t Like, I don't blame her for how he acted, but there, at some point, you gotta take some responsibility for going- Even keeping in contact with a person that did you. The reason he's in jail is because of what he did to you. The fact that you're keeping in contact with them- I don't care. You can forgive, but you do not have to forget what the fuck that person did and what they are capable of. Come on, bro. Forgiveness is for you. Forgetting, that's- 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 that's blind. You never forget what somebody- how somebody treated you in that moment. You gotta forgive. You can't hold on. Don't hold on to hate. That's why I say forgive. So bro free. Technically, because he didn't get caught. Forgiveness is for yourself. So you can let go of hate. But never forget how somebody fucking treated you. And what the fuck they did to you. That nigga did some heinous shit to you. Please understand that he wouldn't, like, if he felt the same way, he'd probably do it the fuck again. Please. The footage of you is, ah, oh, security. Imagine your kids. She was a mom. The last thing they could see is just, like, some pixels of her running away. That's, oh, that's horrible. That's horrible. But yeah, uh, rest in peace, sir. Supposed alien abduction caught on film. In 1996, the TV show Paranormal Borderline had a submission that contained a VHS tape and a letter. The letter told the story of a worker who appeared to have been abducted by aliens. The footage shows four angles of different sections of the warehouse. The top right one is the one we'll be focusing on. We see a worker leave the gate at 11 p.m. and then boom. A flash of light knocks all the cameras out and only come back until one in the morning. Then we see the man crawl back, vomit, then leave the scene again. Oh, oh. <coughs> wrong one, wrong button. Finley! What's good, gang Lang? This is crazy. What the fuck is that? That shit is crazy. Apparently the man quit his job and moved away. Now, I know this one's most likely fake and it's uh, already extremely corny, but let's hear what a UFO researcher had to say about this same footage. I work with many people that they suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder something happened to them externally happened to them that they don't maybe quite remember but they know they became ill they know that you know they came back and it was one o'clock in the morning and what happened they, i just opened the gate and it was 11 15 and then I, the next thing i remember it's one o'clock in the morning and i'm sick to my stomach that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for That's watching crazy. it all the way through. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new. If you're new to the channel, I upload a bunch of morbid videos. I also have a mediocre YouTuber music career. If you want to go check that out. <laughs> no, okay, my music's good. I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I think my music's good. Go give it a try. But yeah, if you want to support Earl, please. That's the most direct way of supporting me. I have Patreon, too. Shout out all my patrons. Earl's cool, so <laughs> that didn't explain anything. Yeah, more videos in October, more costumes, and uh, follow me on my socials. Uh, you guys always keep up with me on there. So that's amazing. I'll see. All right, man. Yeah, man. That's actually that last one. That's a little weird. You know what I'm saying? Chat, y'all believe in aliens? Genuine question. Genuine, genuine question. No. 
No, I, be, I do. I do chat. I don't even aliens very much so. Hey, there's an alien in the chat right now. Philly, stand in the front of the congregation, please. You know what I'm saying? So niggas know who you are. No, nah, I'm joking. But um, now nah, real deal spill. I do believe in aliens. I don't know. I don't know what that last clip was. I can't confirm nor deny. But that's just, hey, it's kind of crazy. Hey, this hat, this half pillow look kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? But now nah, WVID from Tub man. WVID. <laughs>